Hey everybody. All right, so I have a camera girl today. Kayla's gonna hold the camera for me so I can use both my hands um, and be able to cook and chat with you guys a little bit better. Um, so right now I am prepping taco soup, which is our tomorrow's dinner. And I'm opening up all the cans. Um, you might have looked on the recipe and saw that it asked for a four ounce can of the diced green chilies. What I do is I buy a can of diced tomatoes that have the chilies in it um, to add some more tomatoes to it to give me a little bit of my the veggies and stuff like that because this is a very high protein meal. Um, but what I did, I'm not sure if I explained this to you guys, I didn't research and look up and Google like healthy crock pot meals. What I did is I just Googled crock pot meals and I picked what sounded really yummy that me and the family would eat. And I'm just making them a little healthier. So I'm changing some things in the meals to help them up a little bit. That's the whole purpose of this group is for me to show you guys how to make the meal a little bit healthier. So I already started, I opened up all my cans and I've already started. Here's my cool tool. Check this out. This is to mash up your, your beef, any meat that you're using. So if you ever have a meal that is requiring asking you for ground beef, always go with lean ground beef and then, um, or ground turkey. I've tried this meal with ground turkey. I don't like it as much. Um, Alex doesn't like it as much either. So I just go with lean ground beef and I drain it before I put it into the, the taco soup. This is one of my favorite um, meals. I honestly don't know where I found it. I know I found it somewhere and then I just typed it up and saved it in my recipe book. But um, it's very easy to make. You can even do this real quick in, a, in the morning. But I always like to prep my crock pot meals the night before. Makes the morning so much easier. I just take it out, it gets room temperature, put it in the crock pot and turn it on. And even though I'm home all day, which was so hard today because I was smelling that chicken cook all day long, um, tomorrow I do have a lunch date so with um, a new potential coach for my team so um, I won't be home to smell this yummy soup cooking but when I get home I'm gonna smell it and I'm gonna want to eat it right away um, so you just brown up your your beef or if you want to do any other type of lean meat if you want to do ground turkey that's fine you can definitely do that um, but really think about it this is a very very healthy meal because um, depending on the portion that you eat Ground beef, lean ground beef is healthy. Um, it gives you your protein. This is a very high protein meal with the beans and the meat and everything like that. Um, and like I said, you know, with the with the meal plan that I'm on in the color coded containers, um, I can have so many reds, which are proteins. I think I do four in my room. Yeah, I'm four reds and Alex is five. So um, we can have, you know, measure it out with the red container when we eat our meal. So it's usually about a cup is what we end up eating. Um, so this is almost all, all the way cooked, but while I'm waiting for this to brown, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my crock pot and start putting everything in it, but that's why this is so easy. You, there's no order, you just throw it all in. Um, so, oh, and I have taco seasoning mix. This is the one I always get, the original. Um, so basically, I already have the onions. I cut them up because I didn't wanna cry while I was on camera with you guys, because I don't know what onions I picked, but these are so strong. They make the whole family cry. And we're crying for a couple hours after. Um, it calls for two cups water. So let me get my two cups water here. And I need to get a new crock pot because I have no lid. So I definitely need to go shopping and get a new crock pot. So what I've been doing is using foil because my lid broke the other day. So, and I didn't get a new one. But so now I'm gonna put the one can of the tomato sauce into the crock pot here. Make sure I get all of it. All of these, you keep the liquid. What is this one, the chili beans? Keep the liquid for all. It's gonna flavor it and then it helps give you the liquid for your soup. Then we have next the can of diced tomatoes with the chili. The, chi the chilies give it a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a spice, but not too much. The corn. And now when you're making this meal, if you make this meal again, which I highly recommend, it's a very easy, you have leftovers for days, so you can have this for dinners and then you have it for lunches for the week. So this is a good prep meal, like if you prep on the weekends your food, it's a really good meal to prep because you can make this and like I said, it can be your lunches for the week. Very good high protein lunch. And you could always serve it over rice if you wanted to serve it over rice. I don't serve it over anything and I can't open the package. Excuse me son, while you sit there and color an onion. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, look, look at the red one. 
So Ryan is making colored onions with food coloring. <laughs> so and let's get the season, the packet in here of the taco seasoning. So if, Kayla, if you want to show them what's in there so far, and then I'll finish off the meat here. Because I need to strain it. I use a strainer like this to strain the meat. I don't like to put any of the extra greases or anything like that into my soup. So let's just make sure we have it all browned here. And I actually was thinking about um, not totally leaving this group at the end. Like um, I know we said we were gonna do the crock pot for this week. And then I was um, talking with my mentor and we were talking about how the group was and what I was doing in the group. And, um, and we came up with an idea of doing a healthier pantry challenge where it'll be like a three day challenge to where we can just make our pantry a little healthier. Like we can still have cookies and chips in there, but let's find healthier cookies and chips that we can have. So if anybody would be interested in that, I'd love to get you guys' feedback to see if that's something that you actually would join me with before I put time and effort into it. Um, all right, let me get the meat into the uh, thing here. Let's drain it. I don't like all that fat. And this was lean, so there really was not a lot. Put it right in here. Stir this baby up. And again, I'm using my crock pot liner. For anybody that did not happen to see the video from yesterday, I'll show you the package of the crock pot liners that I use. Swear by them. They don't melt into my food, but I was able to take the dinner from today that we didn't eat, put it into a Tupperware container, take the liner out, wipe down the inside a little, put a new liner in to make today's meal. So definitely I love my crock pot. Okay, so there's our taco soup. All done and ready for me to turn it on for tomorrow's dinner. And here are the liners that I use. Get them at Walmart, Target, Publix, they all have the crock pot liners. Um, especially anywhere that sells crock pots like Walmart or Target is where you'll find them. So now tomorrow, I will take this out. Of course, I have to put foil on it. I will take it out, let it get room temperature. So when I first get up before I make my Shakeology, I'll take it out and put it on the counter. And um, right when I get back from taking Ryan to school, I will put it in my crock pot and set it on for eight hours. So this has to cook for eight hours, so it's perfect. You work an eight hour day, put it on before you go to work, you come home and your dinner is ready for you. It's like having a chef in your house. So much easier, love the crock pot. So that's it. That's everything for tomorrow's dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please post in the group and let me know how you enjoyed tonight's dinner. Bye guys.